It's Monday, March 24th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. In Bahrain, thousands of Shia Muslims protested against what they call discrimination in the Sunni-ruled country. Police clashed with protesters who tried to block the Budaya Highway with petrol bombs on Friday. The short-lived Shia-led uprising in February 2011 continues to divide Bahraini society. 3,000 Shia Muslims are still in jail for their participation in the uprising three years ago. Ethiopia's major dam on the Nile River is nearly 30% complete, despite vocal opposition from Egypt that is threatening its water supply. Once the project is completed in 2017, it will be Africa's largest hydropower dam, costing Ethiopian taxpayers $4.7 billion. Ethiopia is downstream from the project on the Nile River and is almost completely dependent on its water. Egypt gets between 2 to 4 inches of rain annually, so its farmers and the people who depend on their crops are in jeopardy. Nearly 10,000 people attended an anti-austerity protest in Madrid that quickly turned violent. In clashes between police and protesters, six officers were injured and 12 people were arrested. Demonstrators were protesting about unemployment, poverty, and government corruption. Among their demands, the government not pay its international debt and take action to improve health care and education. Even though Spain came out of the recession in the second half of 2013, unemployment continued to rise with the government's labor reforms, legislation that reduced the cost of hiring and firing employees. Brazil's police say its pacification of Rio de Janeiro's favelas will continue, despite attacks on its officers and stations. Brazil's pacification strategy is aimed at reclaiming favelas controlled by drug lords. It's an attempt to clean up the city before Rio hosts the World Cup this summer. Police say they've created 37 permanent pacification units for an area of 1.5 million people. Murders are down in those areas, but residents of these favelas often accuse police of heavy-handed tactics. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. On n'est pas dans un province, on n'est pas loin des Bangui. Là, on est prêt. On avait fait comment devenir ici. Si je ne veux pas quitter, va quitter par la force.